What's up, guys? My name is Shirokuma, and today we're going to feature the Cerberus Gaming <coughs> Keyboard is good. Mouse, T take it away from here, Glocko. Thank you very much, Bear Thingy. Oh, hello, guys. My name is Glocko, and we're going to reveal today and unbox the Cerberus. LED backlit USB gaming keyboard from ASUS. Like in any kind of professional unboxing, like I said, we need professional equipment. Alright, why not just use a scissors? <laughs> I'm because this is a professional, very professional review of professional keyboards. I mean, the packaging is really nice. No, kasi pa you you did. I am, see? Oh! Very professional. Okay, got it. Here we go. Wow, man! Bubble wrap! Ah, that smell of new tech, guys. Love it. Okay guys, so here it is in all its glory. So right off the box, it's a full it's a full size keyboard and yeah, yeah, it's a full size keyboard, just as big as my current keyboard, but the weight is kinda heavy, which means it has a lot of tech inside, right? <laughs> and um its wires is braided, so it's pretty nice. So this keyboard is a new line of tech from Asus. The Cerberus pretty much showcases the black and red uh, theme there. So right off the bat, you can actually see it's a gaming keyboard right away. It's pretty obvious. Okay guys, if you look closely, you will see that it has some white stuff there. That's actually plastic, okay, to protect the inner casings of the keyboard and to protect it from spills, guys. It's spill-proof, so we're gonna test that out later with some liquids. And other than that, yeah, the key, the keys are pretty silent. Not really that silent, but it's it pretty much suppresses the clicky clack of it, all right? And um, the plastic also serves as something to disperse the LED lights more evenly. So that's pretty much it for this. Let's try it out, guys! Alright, so it's plugged in now, guys. So we are now going to show you the light features of this keyboard. Ta-da! It boasts a red light with breathing function. Like, like, there. Oh, and it's gonna go back. There you go. <laughs> and for those who want a more uh, cooler color, you can always change it to blue using the FN and caps lock buttons. There you go. Isn't that the cool thing? Still has the same functions and breathing functions. There you go. Awesome. It only has two colors though. That's it. <laughs> This keyboard also features membrane keys. What are membrane keys? These are keys that oh, it kind of feels like mechanical keyboards. However, you just have it's not as tactile as other key as a mechanical keyboard. See, it's pretty quiet. And also, um, you have to actually press the button or the keys way down before it can actually register something like as you can see here if i'm typing something i need to press it there I, I don't need to press hard but i need to press it like all the way down unlike in a mechanical keyboard you, you know you can press it halfway and it will already register but yeah, i like this feel i like this i like this kind of keyboards i like you know Okay guys, so other specifications of this keyboard is all shown in its own little manual. Anyway, I want to show you guys this, the multimedia keys. And one thing that also stands out here is the Windows button lock. You can see here, disable the window key. So what that typically means is that when you're a gamer, remember if you're playing around and then you need to press the Alt key but it's right next to the window key and then you accidentally press the window key and then the window key pops up and it goes to your desktop and then the next thing you know you go back to your game and you're dead right so 
here is me pressing the Windows key and it obviously works. So how do I disable that? Just press the FN and the window key, bam! And then now, whatever I do, it's not popping up. Okay, so that really helps gamers, guys. Awesome! Yeah, and that's why in your local internet shops, you often see the Windows key removed. Alright, that's cool! This also features 19 key anti-ghosting. What does anti-ghosting mean? Well, it basically means you can press multiple buttons at once and it will perform that function or that command no matter no matter if you let's say for example you're playing a game and you have lots of skills here and you press all of those buttons all together it will still execute the commands that those buttons will do uh Leland, uh, what are you doing um opening her why are you opening the keyboard to see how she is waterproof. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we almost forgot to feature the spill proofing. But Tiger, we're just gonna check something out, guys, about this keyboard. Like, how does it, how is it spill proof? Because we really, really wanna spill some liquid. <laughs> okay, so there you go. The keyboard in all its naked glory. There you go. Right. That's how the end works. It works. So, let's see. How does it work? Can you, so you spill it here. Uh huh. And it throws itself out. Where? It drains it here. Oh. Which is connected here. Where? There. So these are the drain ports, guys. Mm -hmm. So if you spill a drink, and it goes right here. Can we? Can we? Can we try it, man? With some with some water. Yeah. Like we pour in something there, and then let's see if it really drains it. Okay, we have water here. We're gonna pour it on the keyboard, guys. Let's see if it's gonna drain it. Alright, there you go. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> the water's in there. Okay, let's see if it's gonna drain it. Alright, let's see. Is it draining? So, but it, it's not draining actually, but it's, it will definitely protect what's, whatever is in here. Okay, so it's not spilling. It's not spilling right now, but it's it if you if you actually you know uh what do you call this tilt it tilt it somewhere. No not there. <laughs> but yeah it's waterproof. Right? It's waterproof. Yeah. So you can just you can just put it back there and then it's you know you don't really need the you don't really need the drain ports anymore. Yeah. It's definitely gonna protect whatever is there and um under it. It's dry. See, it's dry. It's dry according to Leland. So that's pretty good. Cool. Let's try let's try tilting it to the drain ports. Like just to see if the drain ports are actually working. But so far <laughs> this thing protects it from water. Okay? There you go. Alright. So, we're not seeing any spills under it. Okay, see guys? I have my camera under the keyboard. Nothing. It's good. I, okay, wait. I'm gonna flash a light there. Okay. It's wet. And then, see guys? Nothing. It's not dripping under it. So, whatever is under the keyboard, it's well protected from the liquids. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Asus. Let's try the drain ports. I really want to see the drain ports, man. We're gonna sip water from it. <laughs> okay. Oh. You can manage to sip water from the. Oh, it's. it's there you oh, go, it's draining. It's, it's, oh, yeah, there you go. It's draining from the drain port. Yeah, thank there you. There you go. No need awesome. That's nice. No need to, you know, flip the keyboard. But if you want it to really dry out. You really need to flip it over. But at least the drain ports are... <laughs> they are working. <laughs> they are working. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's good. That's cool. Awesome. Really good. Wow. Take that, other reviewers. Ha! <laughs> hey, I'm all wet now. Yeah, we're, 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 the, the floor is pretty much wet now. Okay. But the keyboard is still dry. In, under it, that, that is. Yeah. Good job. Good. Good job. Good Jeez. job, basis. So that's pretty much it for this keyboard, guys. So for other specifications and features of this, you can consult the manual if you buy it, or just 
check the website of Asus, okay? Now, we move on to the mouse. All right, guys, we now have the Cerberus Optical Gaming Mouse. So this features four customizable LDPI levels with LED color indicators. And it's ambidextrous, guys. So both left-handed and right-handed people can use it. Okay, yeah. Other features are listed down here. <laughs> or you can check out the Asus website for it. Okay, guys, so let's unbox this now. All right. So again, we need the katana for this, guys. So there you go. Always be careful when handling blades. I am a professional, guys. So do not try this at home. Oh, shh, I almost stabbed myself. Ha 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 Okay, got it off the box. Here it is with in all its glory. Okay, so it's also sporting the black matte and orange red <laughs> theme. Like its keyboard come, uh, keyboard. And now uh, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you guys what it features. Like I said, it has side buttons here for whatever you wanna use it for. And the buttons feel really nice and comfy. It's really easy to press. That's nice. And we also have the DPI button here which features different kinds of sensitivity. So if you want it to if you want your cur cursor to move really fast or really slow, you can set things up just by clicking this one. We'll show you we'll show you that later. And the mouse crawl which feels really really nice as well. As for the grip thingy, yeah, feels good. I don't think my hand will slip anytime soon if I'm using this before gaming, so it's pretty comfy. And it's it's not for me, uh, in my own opinion, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's just exactly right. And it covers just mo you know, just just fits right in my hand. So it's pretty nice guys. I like it. I like it. So we're gonna test this out now guys, just to show you guys the DPI and other stuff. Okay, so the mouse is now plugged in and you can see it's now glowing. It's default red. Okay, so what are those lights indicated for? It's actually it actually indicates its DPI mode. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Alright, so red is a default 1000 DPI and then if you click it once, it's gonna turn blue next, which is kind of a more faster one. And then uh, if you click it to the purple, it's the strongest DPI, which is 2500. And if you click green, it's the slowest. So I'm gonna show you guys the it's different modes. And if you just look at the monitor right now, so we're gonna start off with the red, okay? This is the red, 1000 DPI, all right? And then this is the blue. All right, 1,500 DPI, and then purple. This is 2,500 DPI, and then green, which is 500 DPI. Very slow. So yeah, usually higher DPI will be indicated for um, people who has you know bigger resolutions or bigger monitors. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, as you can see in the monitor again, we have the different kinds of grips when trying out or holding your mice or mouse. Now, um, it really actually works on all kinds of grip, even if you have a palm grip, a claw grip, a finger grip. It, it works really well, guys. It's pretty comfy. I'm gonna. I, I'm usually a palm gripper, but if you have a claw grip like this, it's still good. Fingertip grip, still good because it. And like I said, the size of this mouse is pretty much it pretty much caters to, you know, all kinds of hands, big or small. So I like it. Alright. So that's pretty much it. Anything else you will see in its manual. Or the Asus website. Look at that. See? It's a one good combo. Wanna see it in red in blue? Sure. See like put it in blue. There you go. If you want a blue themed thing. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much good there.